Hello everybody, what's up? It's Savannah and today we're going to be checking out a game called Lake that I picked up on Steam's summer sale. This is apparently a game where you are set in the 1980s and basically you are taking a break from your big career and going back to your hometown to deliver mail and apparently it's supposed to be very story driven. It's got a great atmosphere and of course I was immediately drawn to it when I saw it. So we're just going to get into it. Okay. But yeah, look at how pretty like the trees are and like the sun. I was immediately drawn to the art style of this. So I'm really excited to get into it. And we're going to deliver mail and I hope it's wholesome. I hope it's not super sad. I hope it's not a sad storyline. I'll cry. <laughs> like I am the type to cry. Funny how a program designed to help organize your life if, is the reason why I can't be at the Labor Day party. But I'm glad we made the deadline. Oof. And I'm glad I can now spend two stress-free weeks in good old Providence Oaks. Dang. Hello? I just came home and was wondering if everything worked out all right. Hi, Steve. Yes, we made the deadline. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, I feel so bad you couldn't make it. Hope you guys had a nice Labor Day party. Oh, yes. I mean, the band was great and Mike fell in the pool. <laughs> oh, and then Roy got really sick. No, wait, Brian. And then he fell in the pool, too. And... No, Roy. Uh, wait, nah, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you all about it at work tomorrow morning. Well, <laughs> afternoon. I won't be there for two weeks, remember? Oh, wait, yeah, but, uh, do you really have to? <laughs> two weeks is a lifetime. Yeah, Steve, I really have to. But I will continue testing for at it. Oh, okay, right, awesome. Um, you know, I better get some sleep now. My plane leaves early in the morning. Okay, Meredith, have a wonderful flight. I, I'll talk to you soon. Screw Steve, I already don't like him. Providence Oaks, Thanks Oregon. Thanks so for picking me up, Mr. Coleman. Mr. Coleman? Please, just call me Frank. We're colleagues now, after all. Oh, okay, Frank. Thanks so much for making time for me on Labor Day. No problem, Meredith. Postal workers always have each other's back. Your dad helped me dozens of times whenever I was in a bit of a pickle. Well, I hope I can fill his shoes. He hardly ever missed a day. I'm sure you'll do great. You know what? While we're en route, why don't we deliver some mail in our beautiful little lake town? And show me the ropes? Sure. All right, then. Get ready to roll. How wholesome. Oh. This already feels very cozy. more beautiful than I remember it. I don't think I'll ever get tired of driving around it. And there's our first stop. Ooh. Okay, sir, what's the plan? Delivering mail is like a walk in the park with mailboxes. Take this bag, walk to the mailbox, and insert the mail. Okay. This is so cozy. I like the art style a lot, actually. Oh, that was... I did not expect it to be that smooth. Walk back to the mail truck. You got it. Can I run? I can fast walk, I think. I don't know. Nothing too difficult, right? I think I should be able to face the challenge. Ha, I bet. Didn't you go to MIT? Yeah. I left here for Massachusetts uh, 22 years ago. Shouldn't you get a job in computers then? That's really booming right now. Well, actually, um... Uh... Hold that thought. We just arrived at our next address. It's a package this time, so you'll have to get it out of the back. Okay.
Let's go. Delivering these Amazon packages. This is so cozy. That's lighter than I thought. Look at how cute! Wait, I want to look at everything really quick before we... I'm sorry, I have to. It's so cozy. Look at the little car! Oh, this is so wholesome! I love it! Picasso. Okay. Nope. No answer. Drop the package. Oh, okay! Hold shift to walk fast. Okay, I thought it made her walk faster. Just sprint. Just be a sprinter. You know? Just do it. Just do it. You're getting the hang of it. So, where were we? Computers. Should I buy one? Uh, well, it depends on what you want to use it for. Bookkeeping. I always make a mess of my tax returns. Can't a computer do that for me? Sure, there are programs for that. But you'll still have to put in some work yourself. I was afraid you were going to say that. I'll bug you about it another time. Hmm. Our next address is right around the corner. Okay. I'm waiting for like a vicious dog. Oh. There's no place like home. Did I just see a dog sure house? Isn't. Can't wait to get home either. The Mets are playing the Giants. Oh, what a wholesome right dad. Now. What time do I start tomorrow? 7 a.m. sharp. Just check in at the post office. Okay, Frank. See you tomorrow. Adios. Oh, is this our house? Oh, no. Where are we supposed to go? He just left us here in this neighborhood? Oh, it's my parents' house. Okay. That makes much more sense. I'm like, um... Sir? Hi, Meredith. I just wanted to let you know that Dad and I landed safely. <sighs> the Florida weather is... All they said it would be. I'll call again soon. Oh, oh, one more thing. The freezer stuffed with food and there's blueberry pie in the fridge. Bye. Sounds nice. Meredith, it's Dean. Ugh. I didn't get the chance to say it earlier, but thanks so much for being a trooper. I know you had other plans for Labor Day weekend, but nailing the deadline for added 87 could very well be the most important milestone in our company's history. Hey, where's my raise? Well deserved time off. Don't get too used to it. Just kidding. Or am I? Uh, I'll talk to you later. Steve and I would not be friends. I can tell you that right now. He would dislike me very much. Because I'd be like, where's my raise? Extra work, extra pay. Thank Good you very morning, much. Meredith. Ready for your first day? Good morning, Frank. Good morning, Frank. <laughs> Ready to rock. It's a great day to be on the road. I already filled up the mailbag in the truck, so you're good to go. Oh, I forgot to tell you. There's a map in the cabin, in case you get lost. Her outfit is so cute! Look, she's got a little name tag. I'm sorry, I, this is adorable. Lost? Me? Bon voyage! I would definitely get lost. I have the worst sense of direction, quite honestly. Like, people have learned in the car just to not ask me for directions because I can't explain anything or find my way anywhere. Press M for the map. Ooh! Ooh, this is so cool! Whoa! Okay, so I can make a waypoint? Okay. Say less. So, 207 Main Street. Oh, look at that! This is so cute! Do I have to, like, worry about other cars? I don't think so. Thank God. Oh, I feel like I'm already doing a very bad job. <laughs> Which one is it? This one? Where's the numbers? Where are the numbers? Hello? Really quick, let me take this waypoint off since I apparently don't need it. Oh, the general store is what it is. Okay. Howdy, howdy! It is I, your friendly neighborhood. Oops. Left the package. In oh, the it's truck. a package. Oopsie. 
I parked way too far away, but oh well. This is for 207. Seven. Oh, that's heavier than I thought. Dang, what'd you order? Some bricks? Probably. What else would a general store need? Other than bricks. Hello! Can I help you? Hello, here's today's mail. Mm, new in town. Your face looks familiar. Well, I grew up here and then left for college 22 years ago. <sighs> 22 years ago, back when they called me Nancy Sinatra instead of Nancy Reagan. Dang! So now you're back, huh? I know what it's like. Actually, this is only temporary. I don't need to read this. I'm so used to reading it. Actually, this is only temporary. <sighs> That's what I said, too. A long time ago. I wonder <gasps> if it's gonna rain today. It's been raining a lot lately. Oh my god. Way to make me depressed, Nancy. This is very similar to the vibe of what I grew up in. I grew up in the middle of nowhere, but like in Florida, so there's no beautiful lake. But like this general store brings me back to my childhood. I'll tell you what. Hi! You look cool. Look like a hipster. Like, you don't belong here. Actually, the town I grew up in was, like, much smaller than this, to be honest with you. Ugh. Yeah, there's, like, no cars. Okay. I do what I want. I'm the mailman. I'm the freaking mailman, yo. Or mailwoman. I remember this as the old Sugarman place, but... The envelope says McGill. Must have moved away. Hmm. Oh, there are cars. Okay. Let's see here. I'm actually enjoying this. I am too. What is her name? I forgot already. Oh, Lord. Meredith. I just saw it on the Steam page. Meredith, you need to, like, stop trying to, like, make Steve like you because Steve is a booty hole and he's never going to appreciate you. And then he tries to make you feel bad for taking time off of work. So, honestly, like, screw him. I don't like him. God, just so you know, I'm, like, really bad at driving in games. So I'm, like, really trying my hardest here. What happens if I hit it, though? <laughs> the thoughts, the dark thoughts are winning. Ooh. Bro, you can't just stop in the road like that. What is wrong with you? Lord have mercy. And there stands Diner. Wait, it's called Moe's Diner now? Wow. 500 Lake Road, okay. I wonder what they ordered. Oh, I see the little lady in there who's working. Hello. I love this atmosphere, though. It's really, really nice. Go deliver our packages. Ooh, what kind of food do you think they have here? Hamburgers? Meredith Wise? As I live and breathe. Come here, hon. Uh, now, let me look at you. My, oh my. A few lines here and there. And the occasional gray hair. But by gosh, it's you, all right? I'm gonna fight you. How dare you bring up my gray hair? Well, hello to you too, Maureen. Oh, don't be like that now. It suits you. Age only makes a person more distinguished, is mm. what I always say. To the mirror. Now come here. Tell me everything. I have work to do. But, Maureen, I do have work to do. I know you're busy, huh? Little Bird told me all about your temporary mail job already. Who? News goes around pretty quickly around here. So, coffee? Something stronger? I wait. I will not take no for an answer. Apparently. Coffee sounds good, thanks. Coffee sounds good. Thanks. Two coffee. Coming right up. And one piece of blueberry pie, if I remember correctly. You had one almost every afternoon after school at one point. <laughs> uh, actually... 
I try to stay healthy these days. You trying to tell me my pie is a health hazard now, Miss Wise? <laughs> Ashley! One blueberry <laughs> pie! Uh, and Ashley, uh, could you keep an eye on the bar for me for a bit? I'm gonna take my break now. You're a real trooper. <laughs> oh, God. Ashley? Oh, sweet Mary. What are you doing? Uh, is everything okay, hon? <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> Maybe you should check that out. <laughs> Honestly! First the roof and now this? Ugh, that poor kid is like a disaster magnet. Oh, no. I'm sorry, Meredith. Looks like I've got my hands full for a bit. Next time, I want to hear everything, you hear? Uh, don't be a stranger now. <laughs> How precious. Kind of glad I didn't get stuck talking. I got work to do. I mean, it's just rude. People might be waiting on their packages, their mail, and then I'm over here having blueberry pie. Lord. Oh god, okay. Oh god, I don't want to wreck this city-owned mail truck. Thank you very much. Time to go deliver some more packages. Yeehaw. Shkibidi boop. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I almost smacked into that rock there. I don't need that demoted from my pay. Thank you very much. Oh my gosh. Okay, Savannah, you got this. Don't worry about a thing, honey. You're fine. Everything is fine. Everything's not fine. I am struggling. Ah, I wanted to look at the lake. <laughs> ah! Okay, maybe I won't look at the lake. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. I guess we're just gonna look at the road and the trees. Oh, look at the lake, though. As I smash into the freaking telephone pole. Lordy. Lordy lord. At least there's not a lot of cars on the road, because I would be way more of an anxious wreck at that point. Let's see here. How wholesome is this? Really quick. Look at the lake! That is so pretty. Wow. Ah, the mighty Ambrose River. So pretty. Oh, is this where I'm supposed to go? I'll buy it. Is this where I'm supposed to go? Is this it? I think so. Is it 100? No, it's 102. My bad. Let me just back on out again. Hopefully I don't hit anyone with my inexperienced driving. Because I almost hit a tree. <laughs> Dang, I am such a good driver, guys. Are those dumpsters? Okay. You just need a... You just got a letter. You just got a letter. This is so cozy. Wow. Imagine walking out and you see a lake like that every day. That is so nice. Okay, we got a package coming up. I guess it's this corner house here. We're at 200 Lake Road. Oh, look at the cats! Oh my gosh, there's so many! Oh, they're getting a little toy or something, I guess? Well, hello there, big cuddly guy. Oh my god! There's five! There's five cats! Oh my god. Stop it! Oh, oh look, Genevieve! A new mailman! Hello there! What's your name, then? 
Um. Hi, Miss Jenkins, right? I'm Meredith. Meredith Weiss? Weiss, of course! You're Emily's girl, aren't you? This is Meryl Weiss, Genevieve. She used to live in town years and years ago. Oh. 22 years, to be exact, but who's counting? <laughs> Has it been that long? That's almost oh, two Genevieves ago. <laughs> Calm down, Genevieve. You're going to live forever. She isn't, but... <laughs> That's me with my dogs. You remember me, don't you? How could I forget Miss Mildred Jenkins? And her cats, of course. Seems like they've multiplied. Yes, I do like cats. Is that such a crime? So what if I have slightly more of them than I used to? Like Genevieve here, and <laughs> Thomas, and Oliver. Oliver? Did you pack a package for me then? Yes. Here you go. Ah, thank you, dear. Looks like another gift from my son. Still doing everything to get into my good graces, except actually drop by. Oof. I'm sure he means well. He's probably just busy. Hmm. That's what he says. That's probably what you say to poor Emily, too. Anyway, I won't keep you any longer. Run along, dear. Give Emily my best. Goodbye, Miss Jenkins. Genevieve. Why are you getting in my family business? Dang. Keep your issues to yourself. If your son has an issue with you, then that's on you. Don't be bringing up my mom and how she feels about me. Damn, uh, them, them's his fighting words. I don't even need that map. Ooh. Yeehaw, howdy, howdy. Who is this? Who are you? Hi. Oops. Left the package. I want to talk truck. to this person. Three hundred Lake Road. Okay. That's lighter than I thought. Probably a car part. Hi there. I've got some mail for this address. You're not Frank. Luckily, I don't think a mustache would suit me. Haha, ha, real funny. But that doesn't explain why Frank gave you the keys for the goose. The goose? Yes, your white and wobbly van, duh. I'm Lori. I'm Providence Oaks mechanic. And I'm the one who keeps the goose running. She's so cute! Well, Thomas is my father. Does that count? Thomas! Yes, that surely counts. <laughs> my father's been teaching me since the day I was born. There is no one better in PL than me. And I have to get back to work now. But I suppose you may drive the goose. On one condition. If there's ever anything wrong with it, you bring it back to me, yes? All right. All right, I promise. Good. Perfect. Uh, did Frank tell you about the radio? No. It currently only receives the local station. Plus, sometimes it cuts out altogether. If that happens, just give it a big old bang on the dashboard and that should fix it right up. I'm working on it, I promise. Okay. Thanks, Lori. No problem, Miss W. How cute. Get it, girl. My dog walked in here, so I was seeing what he was doing. He's taking a little nap behind me. He's so cozy. Maybe I should check before I merge. I promise I'm a good driver in real life. It's just in video games, it's rough. Okay, and that's all I'm going to say on that. Oh, there's going to be like a turn up here? Okay. Ooh. Bear Creek again. Ooh, it's like dirt road. 
This is so cool. I love this. I'm still mad at Miss Jenkins, though. She's on my, my poop list, to be honest. This feels shady as hell. There, like, the first episode of Supernatural, there was a bridge like this. It was, like, the first episode, I think, of Supernatural. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? Or am oh, I misremembering? Right. Creek near the old lumber yard. Is it this? I think so. Ooh. I'm afraid to have that on in case it's like copyrighted on the good old YouTubes. There's a new face. Well, howdy, sir. Look at your big old beard. You look so rugged. <laughs> Why am I trying to rizz him up? A rare sight for a secluded lumberjack? <laughs> yeah. Last time I saw a human being was about mm, six years ago. <laughs> I am here to deliver mail and I come in peace. I'm Meredith. Riz. I'm Robert. I hope the peace will be everlasting. Let's see what's inside. Oh, what the? Oh. That doesn't sound good. Crap. That's what it sounds like. Bull crap. Freshly baked bull crap. Hey, the sound can't be worse than the smell. I'm sorry, but I have to take a better look at this. Have a nice day. Bye, Robert. I like Robert. I like how he's secluded and he's got a big beard. I respect it. Now what? Just go back to the post office, I suppose. Yeehaw, time to go back on the supernatural bridge. At least this isn't like GTA, because if it was, I would be... Ah! I was just about to say I'd be struggling, and then i just like scrape this. Ugh. I should be going slower down these back roads with all these winding trees and stuff. Look at the lake, though. Okay. Let's get going back. Well, this has been an eventful day as a post office worker. Relaxing and eventful. Even though I had a lady try to force me her blueberry pie. My gosh. I'm on a diet. I'm trying to look slim. I ain't got no male prospects in my life or female, okay? Meredith, she needs, she needs to do whatever she can, I suppose. They're broken because I paused over there for too long, I guess. Broken as heck. Look at that. Look at the river. Wow. My bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. What is that in the water? Like a steamboat? What is that? Go drop her off at the post office and go home. Oh, I thought that was the turn in. This is. Hello. Hi, Meredith. It's Mom. How are you? How's the job? Hi, Mom. I'm doing great. It's so relaxing to be outside and drive around. Oh, that's great to hear. Dad says it's strange not having to drive the truck anymore. <laughs> I can imagine that. How is Dad? Can he handle all this freedom? <laughs> on two fishing boat trips already and then there's the late night poker with his new buddies oh i'm almost out of coins i'm calling
calling from the bar and dad's ordering a margarita again. Oh. Talk soon. See? Look, my mom doesn't, like, super miss me. She understands I'm an adult. Ooh, watch TV or read a book? Watch TV. Hmm. Let's see what's on TV tonight. Previously on Bon Appetit. Has anyone seen Henri? Yeah, he's in the, the kitchen. Dog. Unpacking the new tableware. Henri! <laughs> Did someone call me? <laughs> Did someone call me? What the heck? Okay. Sure. Okay. All right, everybody, that is where we're going to wrap up this episode of Lake. Tell me how you guys are enjoying it so far. And if you have not already, please make sure to subscribe. It really helps my channel to grow, and I really appreciate it. But I am really enjoying this. I think the atmosphere is fantastic. I like the storyline so far. I think it's something that, that like a lot of people can relate to, especially like when you've gotten older and you've moved away. So I'm definitely going to be playing more of this. So please make sure to subscribe so you can catch more. Um, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!